Ford City for HT. So, I was like, under the impression the illuminated earth is like not mine, that only these mangy ones, these neat instruments know what the fuck I mean, man. I've been to the piano, trumpet, turntable, marimba, brass, bass, ivy violin, they all, they all got names, baby. All Jessica, Melinda, Anna, Jen, Catherine, Patricia, Liz, Megan, Sarah, Kate, Katie, the one with the Daryl that's there, the one I used to know who pointed out to me, her long finger parallel to the pile of bottles near the municipal cathedral. Chris, recollection is worth the price of the tape it's printed on, kid. Calm down. Before sundown, the unused construction equipment, backhoes, bulldozers, bobcats, the bank on Forbes and Craig. <laughs> Tell me to lie down, fat man. Tell me to quit. Tell me to eat my veggies, and I will attempt a coma. Tell me, fat ass, how do you erase the fame from the blonde voices that put me on hold for a while? Tell me what the bridge toll is. Tell me how to argue a flower, to peek in a puddle by the burn, beating the pace of the flood. Tell me, and grant me permission to speak, how to soak the ground with enough rain to blur their eyes, to defend the weak. Determine the age of the history you kneel in the desert and farm town hangover. There the West still has a brow. Tell them, as they steal milk and pears from a dime a pound fruit stand, the color of your skin, they are awake racing pigeons across the Spanish roofs, feeding the poor drunk man on Penn Avenue with fresh heartache and powder and spoon. Their sister city, the buried world, they know without knowing how many die without even this luxury to be buried. Donate to charity again, fat man, and sip the bourbon bled from your barrel. I thought you were blessing yourself with golden crosses, firing guns with New Testament verses seared onto your magic. I thought, and correct me if I am wrong, the tongue does not know how to act and merely lies without relief in between beams of strong teeth. If the flame and sword are yours, give me a slipping weapon. Where you fuck, I will save. Where you are starless, I will burst. Where you break glass, I will kiss. Send me packing. I wish these kids touched the cement like they touch each other with a devious wish for anarchy. To use each other to promise. To set fire to their paper. To make it wish to live. I wish they spent money on each other and fucked with lights on and with skill. And I wish they had Nobody else left to turn to. I'll see you around. All the milk from the cars and their heat of exhaust strengthens the lung. The drunk yuppies swarm only once a week. Let them believe the stores are busy with their Christ of low prices. Somehow, these people, these dogs, are merely squirming like a radio signal, leaking out of the mesh scarred wrists and crumpled cash. Slowly, slowly, brandish the dirt and cough out fumes of food. And they have dreamt on black trash the exact nature of this system. Started from boats banging on top of the sea. From blissful long ships full of tackle, without charm or interest or luck. They have dreamt of the night. They extract lemon from the slice of moon to sweeten their whiskey. They are moved by clear-eyed undertakers of their chastity. Cluttered and coiled on the tip, 
They are ingesting moments at a rate capable to power 10 million smart cars. They, as the future of amphetamines will say, distinguish the winter from summer by how convenient it is to drink outdoors. I made them a poem, and they said to try something real from their garage. They break bottles atop the mule that barks the moonshot proved American supremacy. They respect folks only who talk to them. They discover that hate is a possibility, and corruption an obvious cop-out from the door of an escaped vehicle. When they light up, they put it out. The politics of a dead-end sign. The end of the world is out of cigarettes. If you let them sing their song, I not bother you with mine. The cops are crushed in billfolds. Cops are drunk. Cracked skulls with full cans of confiscated beer. Blast marketed punk to disperse. They are jacked and full of dick blood and carry their balls as bullets. They creep on their laptops for scientific research. As if their science can discuss, as if their outfits are hung from mangers. And their law of reticulated anti-drug obscures the tiny light to safely fill all keyholes. The cops are buried under the porch with pit bulls and mice, each given a name after a car. <coughs> The little sisters in this town have more pain in their pinky knuckle than the entire American Air Force. I saw a girl cry her way to a rooftop. She took flight, and at once thought suicidal thoughts are valuable to promote life beyond that moment. She kept her depression in a cigarette, and she gave me one. I stole a flower from a bush down her block to show her beauty back to her. She snarled and was offended. Don't pick flowers, Chris. It kills the stem. <laughs> she had poppies along her shoulders, and carnations on her feet, and an orange lotus on her back, a blooming amidst fierce flames to steal from plaque. She wanted me. I could not cool her every ember that boiled. But I got close. She prefers silence rather than closeness. I prefer the root to enact the plants, to stretch their necks, the sun do its job. Close enough to signal passing strangers with a whisper, I remark. She held a secret anatomy below that tattooed skin. She deemed with her star-shaped disaster. I was unfit to bury her. Gone then, without a kiss, to struggle with her friends and brothers. Tasteless city, with abandoned churches of Christ on Main Street, street lights held by faucets of snow, drive through empty burrows, car seats are by the road, blue, boiled in the summer humidity, thicker than a mouth, I smell sweat. Remember periods of blurred relief, stoned on the train tracks reading some graffiti and understanding some nothing but language. The blues these words operate seemingly against. I felt cut off, shorter, more knowledgeable of the devil than of God. I say to the devil, say what it is you've said to people like my father, who dropped your corpse at the crossroads, hid behind the briars, waited to see who the true monster was the manipulator of the weather, the stone-handed man who sees, the reason the devil fell down, the master of the devil. My dad coughed vapor, waited. He waited years, drank himself into fights and out of them. He then determined the unlimited nature of evil and relaxed, knowing the devil has little to decide and little to intimidate besides the hacksaw earth. Thank you. Woo.